I found the secret, guys. You got to push down on it. All right, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Odyssey Life. I'm Bernie. This is the Odyssey Life Workshop, and today I'm stumbling over my own two feet that you decided to stop by because it's an FL250 GT250 Honda Odyssey giveaway machine video. That's right. In today's video, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff, guys. We're super excited that you decided to stop by. And don't forget, folks, if you want your free chance to win this fine machine, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for your free chance to win the Honda Odyssey FL250 giveaway machine. I got a couple more things to grab to put on the table, and then we can get started. So, all right, guys, let's get to work. <laughs> All right, folks, so because I promised my 110% best, I've decided that we can't just put our steering wheel together. It needs to be taken apart, uh, scuffed, cleaned, and then uh, restored. And I figured the best thing to do uh, is clear coat it, guys. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take out, we'll take out all of our all of our mechanisms, which it seems pretty easy. A couple Phillips head screws, uh, pull these out, uh, take these ends off. We'll just have to remember what side they came off of. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, get started. I'm gonna start by uh, removing these cable ends, take these two Phillips head screws out here, uh, and then uh, we'll get started. All right, guys. We have our 3M pad, so we're gonna go ahead and start scuffing, and then we can take some of that glass cleaner and some of the paper towels, and we'll give her a good cleaning. All right, guys, let's get to scuffing. All right, now that we're all scuffed up and everything else, I gotta go get painter's tape. I don't have any painter's tape. I thought I did, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, I will go and I'll get some painter's tape and I'll be right back. All right, guys, see you in a minute. We're all taped up. I went ahead and just taped around everything that was going to be uh, not exposed. And it's pretty much just for painting all of that. So, as I said, we have our makeshift paint booth. I have this wire hanging here. So I'm gonna go ahead, set up a camera, hang our steering wheel, and let's go get some painting done. All right, guys. got the first coat on our steering wheel we're gonna go ahead and let that gas off and then we're gonna go in and give it a second coat that's coat two now we're gonna wait for that to get done and uh we'll see you back here in a second all righty gang it's a new day yesterday we scuffed up and clear coated our steering wheel that seemed to take the paint straight and it's super shiny and we're super happy about it and as you can look around everything's under a sheet 
uh because we're going to be doing some painting today hey we got some uh caliper paint some black paint the acrylic uh, lacquer kind to match our clear coat that we put on our steering wheel uh then we have an fl250 aluminum gas tank that we have to aluma wash power wash and get that ready for final uh final assembly and all that other jazz so welcome back to another day we even got our bower bench grinder semi attached to our bench with a seat clamp and a wire brush that's going to help us with our headlight bracket and caliper that we'll need to uh you know wire brush before we paint so all right folks it's another day let's get her done next thing we have to do this morning is disassemble our brake caliper not only for a uh, wire brush painting restoration and all that but we also have a brand new brake cable that we have to install. And Joe from Mod ATV assures me that I will be pulling my hair out by the end of this job. So I guess it's something tough and I don't know anything about it, but I've got all the tools we need right here. So let's jump in and get to work. So the first thing that I see is the nuts or the bolts. There's three of them here on the caliper housing. These are just 10 millimeters and I've got them right here on the impact. see what we got we've got dirtiness in there first things first I want to take pictures so let's see how this works I found the secret guys you got to push down on it to get the cable to pop up and then you push the pin out through so let me show you you push down let me move this stuff you push down to expose and then you push the pin out. There we go. Got it, guys. Super simple. Super simple. I'll show you when we put it back together. So let's go ahead. Let's take our take our cable out, and then we'll get to cleaning this up and digging into this and see what all we got to do to fix this clean this all right guys i'll see you back in a second we got our can of chem dip I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open there we go and it's got the little parts dip basket is there a brush in here nope i don't feel a brush so let's go ahead let's drop our parts in there Make sure there's no other parts that are gonna come apart. Like to have that all clean. Have this clean. Throw that in there. We'll dip these and then we'll dip this whole thing in there. <laughs> Hopefully get that rust and get everything all cleaned up and make it look nice. Alright, well that while that's dipping and cleaning. Let's go ahead and sit that to the side. We'll sit that under here. And we have our tail light assembly. I forget who sent this to us, but we're super grateful for whoever did. So let's go ahead and let's remove uh, these bolts in the back. And they look like they're pretty small. And they are an eight millimeter. <laughs> Pop that out of there. Set these to the side. Not sure what that went to. But here's our bracket. We'll get this over to the wire brush. All right, guys, let's go wire brush this. Got our primer 
and everything in one. Now that, now that I have a full belly from some McDonald's you didn't even know I was eating, we're going to go ahead, we're going to disassemble all the accessories on the FL250 aluminum fuel tank that came with the machine. There's nothing wrong with it. We've got this uh, Meguiar's aluminum wash, and then we're going to head to my house where I've got a power washer and access the water, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to power wash this, make it look brand new, and I talked to Joe from Odd ATV, and he's he definitely has a rear brake caliper rebuild kit with the new O-rings and new gasket. So we'll go ahead and let that soak. All right, guys, let's get busy. Let's get these accessories off. Let's get this tank clean. That was the fuel pump fuel line. As you can see, this tank's got a pet cock, a fuel shut off at the bottom. I don't have any idea if it works. Uh, and to hold the fuel pump on, it was two 10 millimeter bolts with nuts. So I don't know if you saw, but you'll need two wrenches or a ratchet and a wrench or two ratchets. Doesn't matter, just as long as you have two. All right, we got our aluminum wash and we have a date with a power washer at my house. So I will see you at my house. What'd you think of that? Super excited when I can get parts done and check something else off the list. If you've ever restored one of these, you know there's a lot of parts, guys. I'm a one-man show, and I do this strictly for the love of the Honda Odyssey ATV. I don't get paid. I do this for free. I work a whole job just to be able to afford to do this, guys. We love the Honda Odyssey ATV here on Odyssey Life. And if you want to consider helping out the channel, the easiest way to do it is leave a like, leave a comment, share, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps the algorithm and it helps the channel, guys. So please leave likes, leave comments, leave anything. We'll be appreciative. So anyway, guys, that's our video of the week. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week, we'll be painting, uh, rebuilding our caliper, putting together the tail light, putting together our steering wheel, and hopefully, uh, you know, installing them and reassembling them onto the GT250. Progress is progress, and as I always say, if you're riding, stay safe, wear a helmet, and don't forget, it ain't work if you're having fun, guys. And it definitely ain't work when you can do a whole bunch of prep work and take parts that were a little bit on the rough side and bring them back and make them look 110%. So I guess that's it, and I'll see you next week unless Yellowstone Super Volcano explodes and there is a volcanic winter 
I promise, as soon as that winter's over and I come out of my hiding place, I'll see you then, guys. All right, see you next week. And I'm beat. <laughs>